All right, I used my first gear track. I used it for my safety flag. It's not the flag I'm gonna use, it's just a piece of ribbon. But that's a 72 inch, I guess six foot long uh, fiberglass rod. They sell those at home, but I think I paid like two bucks for it. Or dollars, I don't know, it was two or three bucks, but it wasn't bad. So what I did was I got a half inch threaded cap. Dag nab these stupid news updates. I wish they wouldn't come on when I'm recording. Anyway, so uh, half inch threaded cap. And then this is a half inch threaded. This is like one side is, is for sliding on a rubber hose. I got this from the irrigation department in the plumbing section where they have all the gray and black stuff with all the sprinkler heads. They have them in three quarter also, but I didn't want it that big. <clears throat> so the rod actually fit pretty good in here. So what I did was I, I put a one inch uh, stainless steel bolt with the, with, the, with the tip sticking out just far enough where it almost touches the kayak. And there's a stainless nut under there. Right now there's just a stainless nut. I'm gonna actually take this half inch uh, piece of aluminum, drill some holes and tap them and use those as my as my gear my gear track uh, heads so anyway this is full of uh, hot glue so I, the head is actually uh, from the bolt is sticking way up in here so I filled the whole base of this with hot glue and while the glue was still hot I threaded this down in there and let the let the gun heat up again 300 watt gun let the gun heat up again and on the in the end of this it, it when, when you get it it has a point I cut the point off and then I cut some little slits on the side of it just to give it some grip. Because, I mean, it, it's in there. Look, I'm shaking the whole yak by pulling on it. So, this is my safety flag. That's my first my first use of a gear track. I'm going to put another one over here. And I'll probably have this one set up uh, for a camera maybe. Like just a, one that does time lapse or something. And here's another tip. My gear tracks look real good with the countersunk heads in. I mean, that, that they're below the surface. So these are stainless steel screws. They're like three, three to five bucks for a whole box of them. These are good for pad eyes. These are the half inch, and then I got the one inch, and then I got the one and a half inch. These are these are good for like cleats. Cleats and things. Oh, on it. Anyway, make sure you go get some stainless steel. I mean, for for what how nice they're gonna look and how long they're gonna last, they're worth it. So. That's my gear track. These are my first two gear tracks. These are the little single ones. I've got a couple bit longer ones. I've, I've, the, I've got a, two longer ones that are probably eight or ten inches long. I haven't cut them yet. I need to bring my table saw out here so I can I can cut them cut them to size. But yeah, this is a this is a toilet boat. See how the head on the toilet boat is? Fits perfect inside there. So I'm gonna mount this one over here. Maybe use it for a camera. Those are my, that's my first use of one of my homemade gear tracks. I mean, it, you can see it moves the plastic a little bit. And that thing's wiggling up there. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.